Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Am I the Butthole Reddit video. Am I the butthole for yelling at my mom that I hate Harry Potter? Let me live my own life. As my title suggests, my mom is a huge Harry Potter nut. She and my dad actually met in a Harry Potter IRC, like Discord but for old people, in the early thousands. They got married, had kids, and from day one decided to embarrass us for life by naming us after some Harry Potter and Star Wars characters. It's honestly been hell. I have a stupid name and since we were little, my parents have forced stuff like Harry Potter, Star Wars, Marvel movies, etc, etc, down our throats. Everything is about dragons and magic and blah blah blah. I'm so sick of it. Every birthday, every holiday, everything is just organized around fandom. So just like every Christmas, the days leading up to Christmas, we have to sit down every night and watch Harry Potter movies. It's so flipping boring. I can usually get away with knitting or drawing on my iPad during this, but this year my mom was like, let's just have a technology and distraction free night every night. I arranged to go over to my friend Missy's house instead for like two nights. Missy's family is normal and likes things a normal amount. My mom got really mad and started talking about how it's a family tradition and how I'm basically rejecting her and went on her whole thing about how you wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Harry Potter. I finally had it and just yelled, Nobody cares that you were a big name in the Harry Potter fan club. I don't like Harry Potter. I don't like Star Wars. I hate Marvel movies. They're all so boring. Please, just let me have my own interests. I couldn't help it. I just started crying because I was so frustrated because everything always has to be about Harry Potter this, Star Wars that. And now that we're all older, they started doing Game of Thrones. Everything is centered around some kind of movie or TV show or book series. Just once, I want my family to band around something that doesn't have to do with media or these nerdy things. We live in Utah where we have like five national parks and even though I ask every year for my birthday, I've never been to Arches. Well, my sister called me saying that mom was angry and to just come home and to stop with the theatrics. I told her that I'm sick of having all this old nerd stuff crammed down my throat and just once I want to have a normal time watching normal Christmas movies and not having to pause for lightsaber battles. Am I the butthole? Am I the butthole for telling my son the truth about why my wife stopped talking to her parents? My wife's parents always look down on me and I can somewhat understand why given my past and how me and my wife met. At 23, I was a homeless man. My wife was the first person who was nice to me. I almost got kicked out of this small restaurant when I was trying to avoid the rain. She was there and pretended that we were meeting so that they'd let me stay. I got a free meal and we talked for a long time. She really helped turn my life around, stuff like helping me fill out job applications. From there, we became good friends. Two years after that, after getting my stuff together, first thanks to her, I asked her out on a date. Her family never approved of our relationship because they thought I was trash due to how my life was when we met, which again, I get it. But after four years of us being in a relationship, me having the same steady full-time job to help with the bills for years? They didn't even come to the wedding. Then, when my son was born a year after, they still wanted nothing to do with us. So we haven't had contact in years since my son was a baby. Now he's 16 and they contacted us out of the blue. They still don't care to talk to either me or my wife, but they were willing to put their feelings aside to get to know him. We never went into details with him about why we don't talk to them, and he's never asked much before. We left the choice to him if he'd like to meet them, and he agreed to it. He's gone over to spend time on several occasions in the past three months. Finally, the other day, he asked us why we didn't keep contact with them. To him, they seemed like nice people, so he doesn't get what the conflict was. 
They told him we stopped talking over a conflict we had, but they left out that they were the ones who didn't want to see us. So we told him the truth. My son already knows about my past. That's something I never wanted to hide from him. We told him they never approved of our relationship because I used to be homeless and they never wanted to be part of our lives since then. He got mad at them. Now they're mad at us. My son doesn't want to talk to them and they sent us screenshots of some of the things he's told them. No insults or inappropriate language, but just what he thought of them. And they think we're buttholes because they were finally building a relationship with him and we ruined it. For now, my son says he doesn't want to be involved with people like that. We've talked to him several times, he still hasn't changed his mind. It was my choice to tell him why, and my wife supported that. Now, with how things have turned out, I wonder if I was a butthole like they seem to think I am. Am I the butthole for not wanting a friend at my dinner get-together because they only eat well-done beef? I know what you're thinking, another well-done steak, am I the butthole? But this one is different. 35-year-old male here. My friend Brandon, a 34-year-old male, was surfing YouTube and found a video for Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington and got intrigued. For reference, Beef Wellington is a whole beef tenderloin wrapped in a puff pastry and baked in the oven, then sliced to serve multiple people. It's a pretty old school dish, but Gordon Ramsay made a viral video about it and it got popular again. It's also expensive, $100 plus, and pretty technical to make, so it's mostly popular as a video to drool over rather than something people make regularly. Brandon knows I'm a hobby home cook and so he asked me about Beef Wellington. I said I was familiar with the dish because of YouTube, but I never attempted to make it before because it's pretty expensive. Brandon said he was eager to try Beef Wellington and he proposed a deal with me. He said he would pay for the ingredients if I'm willing to make it. I took him up on the offer on the caveat that there's a possibility it might not be perfect. We came up with a plan as follows. I would get the groceries the morning of and use the afternoon to make a beef wellington for eight people at my home. Brandon and I would agree on six guests to join us for dinner. Invites were sent out well in advance. However, a few days before the dinner, one of the guests had to cancel. My solution to this was that I would just cut the pieces a little thicker and we would just have a seven person dinner. Brandon even agreed to this. However, the word got out in our friend group that there was an open seat. Two of our guests, Kate and David, a 35-year-old married couple, suggested they bring along our mutual friend Ava, who's a 34-year-old female. I said no to the suggestion. We've known Ava for years. She's a great person and I have nothing against her. The thing is, for this situation, is that she doesn't eat beef with any pink. If it was burgers or steaks, I could just cook hers the way she likes it. But since a beef wellington is a roast, the whole thing is cooked the same. They asked why I couldn't just make the whole thing well done. I said I myself wouldn't be willing to eat well done tenderloin and would rather just not cook than make that. I also said if I'm catering to anyone, it's Brandon because the meal is on his dime. Then they asked why I couldn't just make Ava's portion well done. I tried to explain that it would be difficult to do that. I'd have to cut her piece, then take it back to the kitchen to cook it more. After dinner had already started. This thing was going to take me hours to make. After I cut it, I'm sitting down and I'm eating. Kate and David are now accusing me of being unaccommodating by excluding Ava and saying that I'm a butthole. What do you all think? This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to be the first to know when the next one drops, then subscribe. I would love for you to drop a like, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.